Hey guys, welcome to Alliance Tech. So today I'm working on those BAC Trillium style condenser coils once again. That's the same exact coil where the motor fell, motor fan blade fell out, destroyed both my condenser coils, and uh, I replaced the condenser coils and I replaced the fan motor. And when I replaced the fan motor, I addressed it to the number two slot because it was the number two motor, but uh, apparently they addressed it to the number three because there's already a number two address in there I was a third motor it was address to number two so they had a one two three when it should be one two three so today I'm here to try to resolve that um, uh, when contacting the OEM BAC they said well you know they only they only give this controller out to the OEMs you know the motor manufacturer they don't give it to contractors or anybody because they don't want anybody uh, changing the motor set points except for the OEMs they, they're the only ones that could do it and I was like well I got to get this done you know, he's all, well, I'm gonna send you the controller information, talk to your rep, because we can't buy directly from BAC. So we uh, go directly through our rep. So whoever your rep is, um, you can you can ask him to get you one of these tile controllers here. And here's the controller, all on its glory. You know, it's uh, the, the Zeal Ebeg, whatever that is. You know, it's German, you know, it says uh, here, made in Germany, part number 380090. And there's another number up top, A, dash g dash two four seven n w so if you're looking for one there you go call your your bac rep and uh ask them for one of these controllers so if you do have a condenser that doesn't have the bac controller on it you need to have one of these in order to set the addresses or the program in your laptop to be able to burn in those addresses because uh if you if um it just won't work and it kind of sucks that they they do this to you that you have to buy special tools just to set their controllers you know you replace a fan motor and you have to okay well i gotta go bind this is a binding it to its address right um now i gotta go bind it and it's kind of like it leaves only a special set of people in the industry who can do this and therefore your customer is going to be on a fan motor or or it's just going to be left on 100% because there's no way to control it because nobody has this controller. And uh, they need to figure out a way to be able to, um, just with some dip switches, set the set the address, just with some dip switches in the motor, and boom, you're done. You can set the, the address there, you can change it, you can do whatever you need to do, just in the motor itself. We don't need this. The technicians out there doesn't need this. We just We just need to be able to set the address in the motor. We don't even want to hook the computer up to it. We don't want to hook a uh, special controller up to it. Just give me some dip switches and I'll set it that way. I don't need, you know, dip switches. You can do a variety of hundreds and hundreds of different configuration dip switches and you can program 12, 15, you know, 20, 20 fans with just dip switches. You don't need this controller. So um, whatever this company is, you guys should change the way your motors are. It's ridiculous. Um, so this this controller has to connect via Modbus, so you need Belden. So I grabbed some Belden, and I got this here, and you can put this into there, and this goes into um, this uh, this Modbus controller goes in onto your motor. So it plugs right in directly in your motor, and then you can you can set the Modbus server. My motors already have this on them, so I'm just going to plug the wires in. To the, the correct ports and get this thing programmed uh, to the correct uh, address here and then they give you this german style plug here you know um european or whatever they use the 50 hertz plug i think it's 220 or something like that um yeah so but yeah we can't use this here in the united states so i need an adapter or i'll just get the mini usb style charging plug which I have hundreds of those and I'll just plug it in and charge this thing so um, but it's fully charged right now I'm gonna get up there today and get this thing online so I'll see you in there all right guys so I'm here at the fans I'm gonna go ahead and take the fan cover off here connect the, the handheld unit the controller and uh, get this thing programmed uh, what you got to do though is you have to turn the power on to the fan you're gonna control and and um, and turn, make sure all the other power is off, all the other fans, so you're only programming one fan at a time. All right, so stay tuned.
See, I got ground right here, positive, and then negative. So in port one. So that's how we're doing that. All right, guys, so this is how you do it here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, check this out. You turn your controller on here. You gotta go, you gotta make sure you turn power on to the motor that is is that you're you're so convert we have you're connected to turn it's just that motor on the power on that motor only and you're gonna go here and so this is gonna wrap up the full speed it's gonna get a little noisy here so we're gonna go ahead and go in here and enter That's exactly the address we're at. So right now we are at, so in here, you're gonna go down to IO setup, okay, enter. And you're gonna go down all the way down to um, where it says bus address. And see here, this is the bus address is two. That's where you can change the bus address right there. And you hit enter on it. So once you hit enter on that, it's gonna blink for a couple times right here and then uh once it goes steady it's reburning that number that that number in there okay we didn't do anything but so it's gonna it's gonna do that and um once it stops blinking this might take this might take a little bit for it to stop blinking here so once it stops blinking then that address is set you go ahead and shut the power off to it, wait about two minutes, and then uh, reconnect all your wires and stuff back up, and then turn your power back on. And then all your fans should be uh, sequenced correctly. I'm gonna do this to fan three real quick and get it aligned, so I'll see you when I'm done. I got everything programmed, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the breakers back on. Fans should ramp up to 100%. Uh, they'll go through their self-test mode, and then they should come down to its input, which should be zero. So let's check it out. down um, this one was a little delayed but uh, they are ramping at their correct speeds now so the condensers are off so everything's set everything looks good so uh, if you guys have any issues call BAC Greg with BAC is an amazing guy he helped me walk you walk me through this whole set step here and um, um, yeah we are done with this so thank you for tuning in I'll see you guys in the next one.